The buzz around Samsung has been building for months, but now the countdown feels real. A phone that doesn't just fold, but bends twice, shaping itself into a form factor we've only seen in sci-fi concepts. Soon, it's about to step into the real world. And yes, I'm talking about Samsung's long-awaited trifold. For years, leaks and prototypes teased us like a tech mirage. But now, insiders are confirming that Samsung's engineers have been putting the finishing touches on a device that could deboot before the year wraps up. That alone would be massive. But here's the kicker, it may not arrive alone. The same stage could also spotlight Samsung's first XR headset and a pair of smart AI-driven glasses, making this one of the boldest launches in Samsung's history. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe for more deep dives into the coolest tech coming your way. So, what makes this trifold such a game changer? First off, it's the first completely new foldable style Samsung has introduced in over five years since the debut of the Z Flip. That's a long gap in foldable innovation and expectations are sky high. Imagine snapping open a 10 inch screen that fits neatly in your pocket when folded down. According to the latest insider chatter, it'll be powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite, paired with Samsung's slick new one UI 8 tweaks built to handle multitasking across three folding panels. And the design choice here is fascinating. Samsung is going inward folding, keeping the fragile inner display protected, Unlike Huawei's trifold that leaves part of its screen exposed, its clear durability is the ace Samsung is playing. Now let's talk numbers, because this phone isn't coming cheap. The early whispers put it around $3,500 or roughly $2,575 in the UK, $4,535 IOD in Australia. That's not just a phone, it's practically a luxury gadget, almost like carrying a futuristic prototype in your pocket. And here's where things get a little tricky, availability may be limited. Leaks suggest Samsung could keep the rollout to key regions first, possibly South Korea and China, leaving global fans with serious FOMO. Still, even if it doesn't launch everywhere at once, the ripple effect will be felt across the industry. Because when Samsung pushes a new form factor, the entire foldable market reacts. Speaking of pushing limits, Samsung is also weaving AI into nearly everything it's doing. TM Rao, the company's mobile chief, has openly said that by 2030, up to 90% of Samsung's business will revolve around AI. That means the trifold, alongside the XR headset and smart glasses, won't just be about futuristic hardware, it's about software that learns, adapts, and personalizes the experience in ways we've only begun to see. Imagine your foldable recognizing your work habits and rearranging apps on the fly, or your glasses projecting real time translations as you talk to someone halfway across the globe. That's the future Samsung is hinting at, and it's closer than most people think. The hype doesn't stop with design and AI either. A recent animation clip, likely official, shows how the trifold folds itself like a piece of origami, the right panel tucks in first, the left panel follows, and suddenly you've got a compact device again. And here's the clever touch. It uses its main powerhouse camera array for selfies, skipping the need for a weaker front shooter. It's not brand, new to foldables, but seeing it on a triple, folding phone hits differently. The folding motion itself feels oddly satisfying, like watching tech magic unfold, literally. Now circle your calendar, because all signs point to September 29. That's when Samsung could pull the curtain back on not just this trifold, but also its mysterious Project Muhan XR headset and those futuristic AI glasses. If the leaks are right, this event will be stacked and possibly one of the most ambitious Galaxy unpacked moments we've seen in years. And here's another breadcrumb. The XR headset is rumored to release in South Korea by October 13, which hints that the trifold might also land before the end of Q4 2025. If so, Samsung could close the year with a one, two punch that leaves rivals scrambling to catch up. Of course, with a phone this advanced, the elephant in the room is always the price and who actually gets it first. Even at nearly 3,000 to 3,500, demand is expected to outstrip supply. And whether it launches worldwide or stays in select markets, the ripple effect is guaranteed. Competitors will have no choice but to respond, and the foldable space, once a niche curiosity, could suddenly feel like the next mainstream frontier. So here's the big question. Is this trifold going to be a glimpse of the future that only a few can touch, or will it spark the beginning of foldables finally breaking into the mainstream? Either way, September's event could mark a turning point, not just for Samsung, but for the entire smartphone industry. And trust me, we're only scratching the surface of what's coming.